if there's somebody who did this, we want them to be found. A Placer County dog is brought to the SPCA with his head badly beaten. And now officials are asking for the public's help in finding the person responsible. You just shake your head when you hear about this. CBS 13's Jennifer McGraw is here now in studio with those details. Jen? Yeah, Tony and Adrian, based on these injuries, experts do not believe this was an accident. Luckily, they may be able to save him, but now we're turning the attention to catching the person who may have abused this dog. Fortunately, his wound is covered because it's not very pleasant to look at. Uh, it's, it's hard to look at. It's a good boy. A sad sight for anyone. The wound on his head is so deep. Experts say it looked at first like he'd been hit by a car. There was no other abrasions or injuries to that dog, so that's kind of a rule out. Eight-year-old Corbin, lovingly named by the staff at Placer County SPCA, was picked up from a local park with his head bashed in. If you were hit so hard that you had a wound where your skull was visible, I can only imagine what kind of pain that must be. With a team of experts, the dog's prognosis has gone from questionable to... I'm optimistic that he's going to be doing well. He just needs to be monitored. Rebecca Williams with Sierra Ranch Veterinary Clinic says, all things considered, Corbin is doing well, but will have to undergo multiple surgeries. But still very deep and very large. While things are looking up for Corbin, officials are looking to the public for answers. Who did Corbin live with before now? Um, maybe that ties something together. We don't know. Leilani Freitas with the SPCA says Corbin is in good physical health and has to have an owner. And if, in fact, someone was responsible for this level of violence, we certainly don't want them in our community. A community that is now rallying together to help save a little guy who couldn't help save himself. And the SPCA is a nonprofit. Workers hope the public not only comes forward with some information, but also offers donations to help offset the costs for Corbin's care. Oh, the pictures are just heartbreaking. Yeah, they really are. But he looks like quite the fighter. And he's wagging his tail. Yeah. Very happy. To imagine that happened and. Hopefully, he'll make a smiling. full recovery. Yeah. Jen, thanks. thanks.